Hi, if you are new here, I'm Vanity, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we'll watch episode 17 of Animash Tiny Escape, so let's get to it, let's go. Alright. On Friday the 14th? Wait, I didn't notice that information before. It's such a date. Something else might happen. <gasps> or oh, it might happen later. That's the only change. Well, <laughs> okay, so after the previous episode, when I couldn't remember much, I went back to all the previous episodes, kind of trying to find all the information that I should remember. And yeah, I uh, noticed that. So to change the timeline where Saren doesn't create the time machine and the dystopian future of 2036 and around it doesn't happen. But the divergence number did change. I looked it up. It looked, um, it was 0 0.3 and it became 0 0.4 basically. So we kind of moved somewhere, but we didn't surpass 1%. We did, we still have 0. Point something, right? And I assume we need to have 1. Point something um, to achieve our goals and really change the timeline. So something has moved, something has changed, as is uh, the same thing has happened. The time has stopped and uh, they were attacked by Saren and the gunshot was heard immediately, but maybe that was just for the viewer to kind of make it quicker. So we only pushed this event to a bit later. It was on Friday the 13th, like the most unlucky day, stereotypically how to say it. That's very interesting. But it's still Friday the 13th, but later? Or... I guess it happened and he uh, turned the time back again. Yeah. But what else can we change? And Suzuka isn't here anymore. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a theory. Mm -hmm. But she said, Suzuha said that her initial goal was to deliver IBM to him. Mm -hmm. We can change other events, undo all the demails with the new demails. Maybe in complex. To kind of try and undo all the changes that he did and go back to the original version. But maybe it happened once, I think, but maybe I remember incorrectly.
Hmm. I thought he just sent a nude email saying, like, don't do it or something. How is he going to undo it? Yeah, that was a huge change. Yeah, I remember her wish seemed a bit strange to me at the time and I assumed that maybe it was something for her dad to spend more time home because after the change he was at home uh, unlike before the Gmail. So sh if she has to participate to undo the Gmail she might not want to do it. Or she might even not remember it because the past because everything has changed she doesn't remember sending the email itself yeah that's yeah that's she's faster <laughs> I guess he's not used to running I like how she says nya in the end of every sentence, that's so cute. said she had some reaction like she could remember it, but um, how the message she sent the message to her dad to not accept her proposal of this cafe. But why did she regret that though? The opening of the cafe. Yeah, how did they meet in the new option? <laughs> That's interesting. Is this line her memories from another timeline? Or her dreams of how she would imagine it to be? Maybe it's possible for others to remember something too.
yeah I assumed she wouldn't want to undo it but I'm really curious maybe she'll explain it back to life I didn't know he was dead. I thought he was just not present at home. What the heck is going on? <laughs> These are the guys that were after her? What the heck? They are so violent just because she won at some game? What the heck? They want to attack her too. Holy crap! Is the gaming scene that dangerous? Yeah, of course he's on the right. Like, what the heck? I wonder how that uh, Moe decision led to her father's death. So that was her plan to get the IBM to him, but then Huge amount. So is it in Cern's heads now? Oh, that's so sweet. It's like showing us, like, would you really do that? Would you really undo that Gmail? Like, look at them. Oh, crap. Yeah, that was a very strange situation.
that's her given name, right? Cute. I guess she was impressed that he tried to help her get away from the guys. Yeah, but we don't even know if like undoing that would change anything. And then he, oh, holy crap. <gasps> Wait, and the Gmail was also about the ransom? So he wouldn't go? But she also told him, like, she wa I want you to die, and then he that makes it so much worse. So she now has kind of both memories mixed together. This is so unfair. And yeah, as I said, it's not even a fact that if we undo this, then Mayushi will survive. And that seems so sweet. So she has to send the message to herself again to kind of not do that yeah most likely but she regained them now i'm not sure <laughs> Did it change to four five now? Point four five. Oh, Ferris is here now and in the maid uniform. <laughs> I 
it's a nice impression. Yeah, I think the maid uniform implies that, like, yeah, that more culture is back and she has her cafe. Yeah, that's a good question. If we are back to the option where her dad um, has died, so he didn't sell the IBM to get um, the money for the imaginary rent, so I assume then, yeah, it's a real question, where did it go from the shrine? Like, the same people who bought it from her dad? Okay, that was a very sad episode, but I think for a second I saw the divergence number change. Um, it was zero point four zero etc., but now it seemed to change to zero point four five etc. So maybe it's growing, and we need it to grow, so it's not a very huge growth, but maybe it's changing something. But if um, um, and doing all the mails will get us back to the original timeline like the question is when did we end up in this dystopia when the original timeline went by and nothing did happen or exactly when everything started changing like from that first email that he sent because at first I think Suzuka even said at some point that if uh, you de delete the email that you sent the first time, like the very first email, uh, that maybe the future will change and CERN will not create the time machine and like the dystopia also wouldn't happen, right? Yeah, these things with time and going back and forth in time, they can get really confusing. But yeah, <laughs> that was a very, yeah. <laughs> know what to say <laughs> okay i don't feel like i can form any coherent thoughts right now so we'll see what the next episode brings very excited to watch it but that would be it for today so please share your thoughts in the comments below without spoilers of course thank you for watching and see ya mm -hmm.